Holy snozberries, Batman! Nintendo released two back-to-back -back Mario games, and the last Elder Scrolls was when? Ah, uh, Microsoft. You sure know how to pick them. I'm upset with myself. Okay, so it isn't a Mario game in the 2D or 3D mainline series, or even a new one. But you know what? It's still more than nothing! Todd! Oh god, Mario, get me out of here. Super Mario RPG. Remake. Or remaster? I mean, it's called a remake, but it's literally a photocopy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, of course not. So, uh, I don't know. Remasters, quote unquote, are mostly from an era of polygons, where upping the resolution and frame rate are pretty much it. Sure, sometimes you need to port it into a new engine, but it's pretty much an identical upscale. Whereas remakes tend to change some things with ground up rebuilds. But this time, it's a ground up rebuild that is effectively a 60 FPS polygonal photocopy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. <laughs> so, what do I call this fucking thing? Is it a remake? A remaster? It's called a remake. Except on the box, and in the game, where they never call it a remake. So what is it? Does it even matter? No. No, it doesn't. Moving on. I played the original when it came out. It was one of the swan songs of the Super NES six months before the Wave of the Future dropped. It pulled out the Donkey Kong-style pre-rendered 3D graphics that sort of reinvented what the SNES was capable of long before the bitmaps of Final Fantasy. It was also the end of the legendary Nintendo Square relationship, before they both told me they still loved me and went their separate ways. <laughs> Ugh, still hurts. But that's all in the past. Or is it? Cause look who's back, bitches. The last time you could play this on something that wasn't original hardware was the Wii U Virtual Console. And that store got buried faster than you can say beep boop beep. So now that it's back, how is it? Well, it's exactly the same. Not that there's anything wrong with that! <laughs> no, not at all. Like, literally exactly the same, save for a handful of changes that I could count on one hand. So before I do, let's go over what Mario RPG is. It's a Squaresoft turn-based RPG with a slightly active battle system that was actually a pretty new idea at the time, with Mario characters and some new ones in the Mushroom Kingdom. There's also a bunch of various mini-games you'll encounter, kinda a precursor to what Square would continue with Final Fantasy VII. It was all around great when it came out, and pretty much still is. Thus endeth the explanation. So what's new? They added a special meter for powerful team-based attacks. They come with pretty cutscenes that are thankfully skippable, so you don't have to sit through them every time. They added elite enemies that drop frog coins for some additional challenge and variety. They added a monster list for some additional insights into strengths and weaknesses that could be interpreted as more content for completionists. And they added some new gorgeous 60 FPS pre-rendered cutscenes that fit in nicely without ever taking up too much time. Never getting in the way or bringing everything to an extended screeching halt. This isn't Metal Gear. And, well, that's about it. Beyond that, it's literally a photocopy. Not that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> A shiny, nice photocopy of something pretty much everyone already loved. So, how can you go wrong? Well, for the most part, they really didn't go wrong. The original was pretty damn good, and so is this. But there are some rough edges. The 60 FPS frame rate is mostly solid, but a handful of areas do have a minor stutter that is really the only graphical blemish. The majority of the game doesn't have this problem, but when it's there, you'll notice. It's the kind of thing that with other companies, I'd almost assume they'd patch it, but since Nintendo rarely releases first party titles with any frame rate or frame time issues, the downside is that the relatively few times they do, they tend not to fix it. They still haven't patched the Link's Awakening remake. And yeah, I know it's not technically a first party title in that Nintendo isn't the actual development team, Arta Piazza is, but the first party characters, it's the first party property, you know what I mean. Probably my biggest issue would be the difficulty, or lack thereof. Like most first party Nintendo titles these days, there's a normal mode and a breezy mode meant for three year olds. If you're four, you're too old for breezy. And normal sure as hell felt a little too breezy. The problem is that not only was the original not the most difficult game to begin with, but with the addition of new special attacks, there isn't really much to counterbalance the player's increased power. You could say elite enemies are a step in the right direction, but they needed five or ten steps, really. I honestly had to keep checking the difficulty setting throughout the game, half convinced I had accidentally switched to breezy mode. 
Fact is, by the end of the game, I never once saw a game over screen. Even the Final Fantasy Endgame boss that was a genuine challenge in the original was a walk in the park this time, barely putting a dent in my resources. And before you say spoiler alert, this shit is over a quarter century old, calm down. Also, the monster list, while a theoretically good idea, isn't really all that great in practice. You identify monster stats by using Mallow, which is honestly kind of a pain if he ever stops being in your lineup causing you to have to switch characters mid-battle whenever there's new enemy types, and it all starts to feel like unnecessary busy work. Once I had Princess Peach and he was out of my lineup, it got annoying, so I stopped bothering. And on a nitpicky note, while the dedication to keeping things exactly the same is admirable, they fell short on a few things, and compared to the original, there's a noticeable lack of boob jiggle. Golden rule number eight, yay boobies. Nico Paka Award. Cause she's a goddamn photocopy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I think it's the same. Huh. Not just a pretty face after all. Lovely. What are you doing here? Drugs. I saw hardcore drugs. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not that there's anything wrong.